up, YouTube? It's your boy, the Franchise Guy, coming back at you again with our 56 and 2 Toronto Raptors. Your boy, James Bishop, is leading the way for the MVP race. Has like 33 points a game, five some five point something assists. I think four point something rebounds, or the opposite way around. One of the two, but he is leading. The MVP race by a landslide, like the number one vote getter, outscoring everyone by I think like six points. Uh, I think LeBron is averaging like 26 points a game. Yeah, that's happening. But uh, hear me out. We didn't make the All Star team. We didn't make the all-star team, and we're the leading vote-getter for mid-season MVP. That if the season ended right now, uh, we would have been the MVP of the season. But we didn't make the all-star team. How does that make sense? We got snubbed for Rookie of the Year. We got snubbed from the all-star game. What's next? Are we not going to win this MVP? Are they going to give it to, I don't know, Kawhi Leonard or Kyle Lowry? I don't know. Who's going to get it? Steph Curry is on his 12th MVP in a row, maybe? It should be going to Chance Bishop. Bishop earned that all-star appearance. I mean, he's a guard that's doing it all. He is single-handedly willing teams to victory. I don't know. I don't know what's happening right now. Chance Bishop is just not... Nothing's going his way. Except on the court, I guess, where he's just putting up numbers still. I mean, he doesn't seem like he's too upset about, about not making the All-Star team. I mean, I'm pretty upset, you know. Chance Bishop's, you know, long-term agent, you know. Sign a lifetime lucrative deal with 10% incentives on contracts on marketing merchandise. Sure, I'm getting a, a small portion of his career earnings. Sometimes it's, I hate doing it to him, but you know, it's just a, it's a nice little commission. Puts food on the table. But when he does stuff like this and doesn't make the all-star team, what what is, what kind of league is this? This is the kind of league that gives, you know, Steve Nash back-to-back -back MVPs, even though Kobe Bryant had a career year. That's what kind of league this is. This is the kind of league that allows, you know, Draymond Green, Boogie Cousins, Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, you know, Andre Iguodala to all team up on one team, and for them to all think that that's fine. But they don't care what integrity is. They don't care about what winning is. All they want to do is get a ring. And guess what? They didn't even get a ring this year, or last year, I guess, technically. They lost to the Raptors. I don't know, we got 15 points in the paint, though, our 8th layup of the game, that's what that said. Look at that. I mean, we'll put up a lot of points in the paint. We can't let them sleep on our 3-point accuracy, though. Look at that. End up winning by 26 points. Should have been an all-star. We definitely should have been an all-star. Frustrating we're not an all-star. I mean, I don't know what more I could possibly have done to be an all-star. I mean, I guess except for what, play every game up to this point? Just to physically play every game? I mean, I don't have time to play every game. That's literally impossible for me to do. Look at that. 57-2, to take on the 23-36 and 36 Pacers. The Pacers were a playoff team last season. A playoff team. Where they greatly declined in talent, it looks like. Probably a lost piece or two. Maybe their head coach is different. Maybe just had a, just a really bad injury string. But they're, you know, sub-500, and we only have two losses going into, what, 60 games on the season? I mean, this is only an 82-game season and 22 games left. We, we're we running away with this. I mean, Nick Nurse, you know, by golly, is probably, what, the best coach in the NBA right now? Yeah, we thought he got lucky last year. We got 33.4 points a game, and we're not an all-star. Oh, boy, this is something. Yeah, I lead the league in three-point percentage, 59%. I'm shooting 10 three-pointers. Six of them are going in. 
you know, I don't know that. I don't know what I need to do to be an all-star. I guess I need to average a triple-double a game. Look at that. I have 27 points. We have 13 of them. Six for nine. I mean, those aren't all-star numbers. Those are, like, bench warmer numbers. Those are, like, franchise player numbers. This is, like, we're going to single-handedly will this team back to the championship numbers. I mean, if we could just do that at will, just pull up in someone's face and shoot three-pointers. I mean, three-pointers for days. Look at that. Back in the paint now. Going to the floor. Looking a little like James Harden. Not getting the foul, though. Not going to get the foul because he's not James Harden. Look at that. Kicking it back out. Another three-pointer. I mean, we're just... We just got to cruise this team. We got to beat this team. I mean, we can't... I think we would. I think we swept this team maybe in the playoffs. Not entirely sure if we actually swept this team around the playoffs. I believe we didn't. But uh, look at that! Another three pointer. Yeah, you know, we're just back and forth game. This one was this one was a little more fun because it seemed like we'd go down, we tie, and then we would just do stuff like that. We hit a clutch three pointer right there. Chance is hyped. Pacers forced to take their second to last timeout. I mean, you know, up by five now. Nothing they can do but just, you know, try a desperation three right there. End of the game. End of regulation. Whew, that was a nail biter. Guys, this episode, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. You guys, to check the playlist down below. Just remember, guys, like, comment, subscribing really helps the channel grow, really helps me continue certain series like this series. Definitely peace out, rock on YouTube. Probably stay classy, I guess.